Hello stampers, this is super awesome stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wisconsin, USA. In this video, I will show you how to create this hand stamp greeting card. It uses products from the Grassy Grove bundle. So the Grassy Grove stamp set. It's a cling stamp set. It's a rubber stamp set. And then the Coordinating Groves dies. So we'll be using this tree die right there along with this weed die or a wildflower hedge die and this background shape. So those are the three that I'll be using today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is stamp my images. And I'm using the gray granite ink pad. So this card is part of the bundle bonus program for May 2022 where if you purchase the bundle of products from me you get this PDF idea file filled with uh, photos, project photos, and then the video links to create the project in the photo. Alright so first step is to ink up this really long one. Flip it over make sure it's okay. And then I'm just going to place it to one side because we are going to cut off, cut it off from the white scrap. Okay, so there's that. And then you can see I've done my sample card right there with that one. So I think I can get the second one on here too. Let's see if I flip that over there. Okay, and then I've got the verse right there, see the good. So I fussy cut that out, just on a scrap of gray granite. It's okay if I shadowed because I'm just gonna fussy cut that out. And then the inside piece, I did stamp some of the trees. So inside piece is just my basic 1 6 of eight, half by 11 piece of Whisper White. You line your inside piece however you'd like it. So what I did was I stamped off, so inked it up, stamp off, so that gives a shadow effect, and then I'll come in and I'll do one in the front. And I'm going to do another one full strength right there. So it gives depth to the image, makes it look like you're in a forest. All right, my card base is gray granite, so just the basic card base in your market. And looking for my tape runner. Everything should be right here. Oh, right behind my light. And I opted to do a horizontal design, so fold at the top instead of along the spine. My next layer is Calypso Coral. So that measures the four by five and a quarter, quarter inches or the 10 by 14.5 centimeters if you're in metric. And grab your favorite tape runner. Tape runner is always the quickest and easiest way to get adhesive, non mess way to get adhesive on your paper. Just eyeballing that so it has a nice mat all the way around. So our next layer is this piece of patterned paper from the Sun Prints Designer Series Paper Pack. It's got this navy blue dot pattern on one side and lightly patterned ferns and foliage and wildflowers on the other. So that's just uh, 3.75 inches by 5 inches or 9.5 by 14 centimeters. So just doing basic layering on this card front and then using the die cuts to add some wall factor. All right, next up, I will be die cutting the stamped images and also the Eclipsal Coral Trees. So I'll be right back. Here are the die cut shapes. So this just cuts off the shadow of this hedge and what I am going to do is further cut it down and then I'm also going to cut it so it's closer to the 
ink. Just with our paper snips, makes for quick cutting. This one's fully cut out, so don't have to do anything with that one. And then this one actually cuts out the seam, but I wanted to do something a little different. And my idea was with this stamp, it looked like the edge of the woods. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna build the edge of the woods. So build the edge of the woods. Now I gotta remember how I built it. So it's good to have a sample. So it's approximately what I cut off was about 2.75 inches and for the centimeters is about ooh it's about seven centimeters is what I cut off. So maybe about to there. So for the edge, the forest floor, then I cut it a little closer for the canopy up here. And if you do this, it's going to look different every time, no matter where, no matter how you um, cut off your canopy. And then I cut off this edge too, because I didn't want my forest to end right there. I wanted it to continue into the meadow. So, I'm just seeing what I did here. I said it'll look different each time you do it depending on where you cut around. I'm going to cut closer to all those cutouts. There, so there's that layer. And then this layer comes across a little bit, but not all the way over. So I can just cut through there. I'll cut around this one as well. And if you look close, I don't have that edge edge there either. I wanted the forest to continue on. So cutting around that and cutting off of that. and just cutting straight up. All right, so now's the time to grab your Tombow glue, but I am out of liquid glue and my order has not arrived, so I'm going to use some glue dots. So find the piece that you want behind in the forest, back of the forest, and then you are just going to place some glue dots strategically where there's cardstock and not a hole. And one along either edge of the forest floor. And that should be good. Might, no, I'm gonna leave that. Okay, now. The one that's in the front, I accidentally started adding glue dots, but I wanted to add some mini dimensionals. You see the glue dot right there? Because we want to add depth to our forest. And I don't want my forest to sag. So put one right there. And then find some space there. And I think I cut, yep, I cut the edge a little bit. So I could put one right there. All right, in this case, when you want to pop something up that's delicate, go ahead and use as many dimensionals as you'd like because you don't want these this to sag. And you don't want it to rip either because it's so delicate. And then you just layer it over your back forest. Okay. Oh, and I forgot actually to put that on there first. 
So, put some tape runner on that. I got so excited to create my forest. I'm gonna pull that off. All right, and then your meadow. Meadow I want to pop up as well. just goes over the front so we're going to overlap the edge of the forest you don't see the edge kind of place it down a little bit all right and then we're going to fussy cut the sentiment so i really like to fussy cut sentiments because you use up scraps that way you don't have to be so concerned about stamping straight on a piece of scrap because you know you're just going to fussy cut it out And you can also cut out your shadowing, just like I did. Okay, that we're going to pop up as well. I'm just going to grab, though, one regular size dimensional for that. It'll fit on the back. Okay, and I put that in the forest. Our last little detail is some linen thread. Now, I just wanted a mini bow, so I'm going to cut it to nine inches, which in metric is about 22 and a half centimeters. Or you can just do this right on the spool as well. I wanted to give you some measurements, though. And then you just make the tiniest of loops. Oh, so I'm making a double, a double looped bow. So you just meet the ends up and then I just do bunny ears. So make your loops one over the other and force both of those threads through. Now since it's linen thread, it's, it's uh, not that stiff, so you just have to zhuzh it until you get it. And then pull on the right tail to make your loops even. Ooh, this one's even going to be smaller. Pull that up a little more. All right, now take your paper snips and cut that one off. Now you can have super long tails if you want, or you can cut them short. I'm going to do the, try the long tail as long as, see if I like that. Mm. My loops a little larger there and then this is just attached with a glue dot let me find my next glue dot there it is and I didn't want the bow right directly underneath the sentiment I wanted it at an angle because it kind of pulls your eye through the forest to the sentiment, the bow, and the meadow. And invites you to open your card. So there is my card for the May 2022 Bundle Bonus Program. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Before I go, I am going to do a quick catalog tour and show you where I got these products. So they are from the Animal Catalog, which goes live on May 3rd, 2022. The Grassy Grove bundle is on page 84, so you see it right there. If you use the bundle item number, you get 10% off the price. And there is the concept artist designs. I use for the card base the gray granite cardstock. I also use the gray granite ink pad, and I use the Clipso Coral cardstock as well. Basic white is down at the bottom for my inside layer. Here's the Sunprints Designer Series uh, paper. So I use this pattern right here. Linen thread makes a nice little double bow, page 145. 
And then in the back are all of the dies and the coordinating stamp sets. So that, sh that are for 10% off. Here is Grassy Grove Bundle right in the back on page 163. All right, thanks for stamping with me. And make sure you like and subscribe before you head out. And we'll stamp with you soon. Bye.